Hi guys, Mysterious Cat Island back. Uh, sorry if you can hear the train in the background. I know I said earlier that there were no trains going by my apartment. I was apparently wrong. So, go figure. Because uh, <laughs> this one decided to go by as soon as I hit the on button. Go figure. We're still here on the floating continent. That's sort of to be expected. No, Shadow, that's not true. It's okay, honey. No, and Shadow leaves your party. Thankfully, he stuck around for that fucking boss battle. Um, nowhere to go but up. Ooh, shit, we need to heal. That works. Okay. So head on up these steps, and you will find two familiar faces. Uh, here's the thing. If you do not bring Celeste with you, she automatically shows up here. Uh, I've always brought her with me, though, so go figure. Uh, no, we're here to fucking destroy you. Behold, the Warring Triad! So you remember those statues we saw, the gold ones? These are the real ones. The gods of magic basically uh, put to sleep by their own powers. And Gestal is just feeding off of it. Yeah, man, we thought you wanted peace. Like, we know you were lying, but this is taking things a little far. Uh, but the shitty thing is, he can do that now. Oh no, what? What? Um. Mm, what do you want from me? Locke and Terra are paralyzed right now, by the way. Blech. Sorry. Uh, if you don't know what creating progeny is, um. He's sort of asking Celeste to be the mother of his new empire with Kefka, which is a revolting thought for me personally. And probably revolting for anybody, really. Kefka is crazy. What? I do not believe that was in the original American. I think they, they changed the way that was worded in the original American version. But no, they're my friends. I'm not going to kill them. Celeste, honey, no, you're not you're not gonna do it, right? I don't wanna rule the world with you. Race sort up. But she can't do it. Go girl. But she stabs Kafka instead! Yay! And he acts like it's just a little flesh wound. It's only a flesh wound. Whoa, Kafka, take it easy. I know I just stabbed you, but you're a fucking asshole. What the fuck would they listen to you?
Uh, that seems like a really bad idea, Kafka. So, they don't really mention it right this second. But he's sort of interrupting their flow of magic. Yeah, you gotta be careful, crazy pants. At least Gestalt understands that. There's no point in destroying the world, we just want to rule it. So now we get this. Uh, yes. The Warring Triad that will destroy the world. Um, yeah, this is a big old traitorous bunch here. Yeah, what is so funny? Very well. So yeah, he had no problem using Kafka to get here, but... He's not against sort of uh, often people who get in his way, and Kafka is getting in his way. Yeah, why aren't your powers working? I want to know a flare spell. Meltdown is not a spell we learn, unfortunately. I think it's a spell we can learn. Might be a lore. Uh, probably because the fucking gods of magic are with him. Yep. Yep, he fucking absorbing magic. Um. Yeah, it seems like a bad idea to be messing around with the gods of magic. Oh shit, that was close. A little to the left now. Probably at you. More to the right. It's like a cartoon gag. But this is actually supposed to be a very, very serious moment. <laughs> run, run, and you'll be well done. Um, because Kefka is, is not fucking around anymore. And, yep, the Emperor is dead. Who saw that coming? Anybody who's played this game before? Oh, he's not dead just yet, but he's getting there. Yeah, look at the shit you've brought upon this world, asshole. If you had really wanted to stop the fight. And, yep, now he did. And he fucking knocks Celeste over again. And that seems like a spectacularly bad idea. Because they were keeping each other in check.
Um, you should stop that. And you notice the power isn't flowing into each other quite so much anymore. Yeah, who is that? It's Shadow! Back again! Save Celeste! And moves the statues. Trapping Kefka between them. And freeing Lock and Terra! Not without you! Come on! And it sort of throws us back. Okay. We will. So, uh, Sky just turned black. And guess what that is? You'll find out soon. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, all that shit just happened, and we've got six minutes to get out the continent. Uh, six minutes is ample time. Um, whoop. Fira against these guys is super effective. So I would just stick with that. Physical attacks, especially locks with his double uh, Hawkeyes, because they're considered floating enemies, are pretty good. And they will, like assholes, cast silence on you. Uh, but these new monsters are basically born of the goddess's power running rampant. And that whole section of the continent just falls to Earth. So, uh, fucking keep running. You don't have far to go, thankfully. Um, and like I said, six minutes is more than enough time. But there's a little catch. That catch being that you sort of let all six minutes run out. You'll see why here in a minute. These guys are no big whoop. Keep going, even as the world is crumbling around you. You can, of course, just level for a little bit if you want. No harm in doing a little grinding. Don't do too much grinding. If you get caught in a battle and the timer runs out, you're fucked because it's an end game. Uh, it's a game over. I am not kidding, it actually happened. It happened to me, and it could happen to you. They're gonna use this shitty freeze attack, which will freeze your character. Um, it's not something that can be undone with an Asuna or any known item either. Like, it will eventually wear off. But it's not something that can just come off. That you can take off. Want that chest, but guess what? You can't get it. You gotta go up and around. These guys are not a big deal. Eh, whoops, that lock attack. Careful not to let your time run out. Uh, but you got more than enough time, really. Oh, hit is no big deal. These guys are not a big problem. This guy, however, if you're not ready for it, can be a big problem. So we're gonna go ahead and heal real quick. Although we're not doing bad on the HP department. Okay. And engage this guy. This is the Nalatha. He looks like Satan. Um, he's gonna cast Doom on you. Nothing you can do to get away from that. It's just, he does it automatically. Uh, he has 2800 HP. He's weak versus Holy... Ice and Lightning. I believe he's considered a floating enemy. So you... Um, locks... Fuck. 
Oh, but yeah. Uh huh. He is inherently reflective. Forgot about that. So, yeah. Any magic you cast will reflect and hit you. But if you cast Reflect on yourself, or if you have a Reflect Ring on, you can cast a spell on yourself, and his Reflect won't reflect the spell. He will get hit. He doesn't have any items to steal. Uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of HP. This is gonna heal him a little bit, but... And that was it. That was supposed to be a boss battle. Like, yeah, they don't make a big deal out of it or anything. Okay. And come over here. You can jump if you want. We're gonna wait. <laughs> Here's why. If you do not wait for Shadow, and by wait I mean until the four second mark, is I think when he shows up. <clears throat> if you do not wait for Shadow, you will lose him forever. He dies. Not joking. And you can never get him in your party ever again. So we're going to wait and let the timer run down. Uh, you can get into a couple fights here. Get through them quick. Because like I said before, if your timer runs out and you're in a fight or you're in the menu, you're fucked. Because it will give you a game over. We can fight one or two of these guys. No big deal. Come back down here and ask to see if you want to jump again. We've got to wait for Shadow. Okay, this will be the last battle we do. The rest of it's just going to be us waiting for Shadow. Because I am not playing around. Because it fucking sucks. They're going to cast Silence on you right at the end. Right when it doesn't matter to them anymore. Okay. We're not going to get any more fights. We're going to wait. So. Yes, Calliope music. Because why the fuck not? I may speed this heart up a tiny bit and throw something over and I don't know, I don't know, fuck it. Probably not, I don't know if my, uh... My editing software is good enough for all that. Okay, so we're getting close. Gotta wait for Shadow. Gotta wait for Shadow. Gotta wait for Shadow. And here he comes! Hooray! We'll pay you. Come on. And you will auto-jump when he shows up, and he automatically jumps too. But guess what? It's not over yet. I'm not going to stop the video here. I'm going to let this one run a little long. Nope, there's no way to stop their magic, apparently. You notice Kafka's gone now. That was the chest we missed. With the monster in a box in it. Oh shit. Mountains are going up and down and into nothingness. So basically because the god's power is running out. Oh my god, those guys are dead. Um the world is ending. No joke. The world is ending. If you've never played a Final Fantasy game before, you're surprised! Um, and your airship cracks in half. And it's doomsday. All that work and we could not prevent the world from being destroyed. And it gives you this really cool little cutscene, which shows the continents coming apart in some sort of anti-Pangea.
On that day, the world was changed forever. Okay, we are going to go ahead and stop right there.